Welcome everyone to the latest Deligracy Sensational video to hit your YouTube subscribers feet. Cheers you guys! I have green kombucha today, I'm wearing a green shirt, I'm wearing green eyeshadow. I did put a little bit of effort in so a comment down below thanking me would be nice. Thank you! Yeah, I was just in a green mood today, I don't know what it is, I'm just, just feeling green. Right, let's get into this shall we? I thought translucent powder was meant to be translucent. What'd you guys have to say about the last part? Happy Halloween! Well, thank you, Louisa. Happy Halloween to you too. Amy should totally open up a bakery. Also perhaps write cookbooks. I don't know if there's an option for that, but we could always pretend. I quite like that idea. That's a nice idea, Jace. And if she gets a bakery, needs someone to take it after she's gone, Hayden could. Maybe since he doesn't get to see his mum often, he and Amy bond over cooking. That is a cute idea. Emily was the one who asked Azra to the romance festival. Maybe Emily has a crush on Azra. Oh my gosh, how did I not see this? This is probably like a little budding romance. My gosh, what did you guys have to say about that? Most likely. Or maybe she wanted a bit of girl talk and talk about boys and mingling, maybe, but that's not as juicy. I'd love Azra to be into girls praying for a gay end game. It really looks like she's making edibles. She's even hiding in the laundry room. It's true, it's a tough world out there. Ami gotta do what Ami gotta do. To get the trophies, I believe that you have to buy them. What? Why would you have to buy the scout trophies? Oh, that's right. That's what we need to work on. We need to finish off um, all of the scout badges because that's just something I've never done in The Sims 4 before and I really want us to get to that stage. All right, so it looks like you guys are kind of keen for maybe Emily to have a little bit of a romance with Azra. And you know what? I'm open to it. We've had a lot of gay relationships in my Let's Plays, but we haven't had as many female gay re relationships as we have males. So that would be kind of cool. Anyway, it is the morning. The kids are getting ready for school and and Azra is out of here. I feel like we need to change their clothes as well because aren't they in the middle of winter? Oh my gosh, and Azra is going to school in like this tiny little crop top. It's probably not really that appropriate for her. And Ami is looking really rough today. Girl, what have you been doing in that nightgown? Looks like she's been doing some gardening. Oh no, Ami just wet herself. I mean, she is becoming more of an elderly sim. So I feel like maybe, you know, her body might be having a few issues that she never used to have. Her bladder might not be what it used to be. Little one isn't looking too happy either. So basically we've left off with our family feeling terrible. Okay, it is a little bit of a crisis. So let's get them back on track. So we could do a little bit more decorating in the kids' rooms and the master room because we clearly need to fix these up because they're looking a little bit sad. The other option is that we buy an actual bakery store and we put the money into that instead, which means we probably need a little bit more money. I'd say around 15,000 simoleons would help us buy a lot and build something small. In terms of a one, we're gonna get him to have a shower too. We desperately need a second bathroom. Like one bathroom for four Sims is difficult. And I'm sure a lot oh. of you guys live at home with four or more people with one bathroom. And that's tough. That is, that's tough. Not all of us oh. are privileged. I wish we could sell this gnome. Like, it's so annoying how it's just like sitting there and I can't edit it. Oh no, we're getting a phone call. Azra won a school prize. Should we give it to her in front of the class or quietly and privately? I don't feel like you need to show off with awards all the time. Sometimes it's nice to give a private award so the other kids don't feel bad. Let's do that. So her empathy has increases because she's like, well, I'd rather be given it privately because I care about the feelings of others and don't want them to feel bad about themselves. But her emotional control decreases because she's like, oh my God, I got an award. She's received an excellence bunny award in her inventory. Where is it? Oh, we can't get to it yet. Okay, fair enough. Oh, this is a lovely little son mother moment. Oh, oh, so sorry. cute. But uh, mom, can you like leave us alone? Because we really want to, you know, shower up. Let's get Ami to have some fun. Oh my gosh. Why are you eating in the bathroom? That's so unhygienic. I feel like eating in the bathroom and drinking in the bathroom is like the weirdest feeling. I used to have an ex who would always drink beer in the shower before he was going out on the town. And I was like, why? Okay. So I've got a plan. You guys, my plan is I feel like we should buy a bakery store now and begin working up to building it. We might only get a little bit of a store happening. It might take us a while to furnish it a little bit, but if we buy it now, at least we've got it and we've made that investment and then we can work up to having a full-time bakery. I really wish kids could have the cooking skill because I just feel like kids love cooking in real life. In Sims 3, we had the cute little kitchen that you could cook at. So 
Um, it's a little bit of a shame that we can't do that, but if we age up little Hayden, then he could get more into cooking. I put their aging onto long, so we could age up Hayden. He's probably around that point yet, so maybe we'll do that in the next part. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts. All right, let's get Ami to buy a retail store. It is time for us to move on up in the world. I'm just wondering where we want it to be because we could stay within Sam Aishino and that would probably make a lot of sense because it's nearby. But all of these places are kind of full. There could be a countryside not far away where we could buy something. This is 2,400, that's quite expensive for a store. How much is it in Magnolia Promenade? 3,000 simoleons, good grief. We never have many families living in Oasis Springs. I feel like if we bought a store, we could maybe work up to living on top of our store. And that's only 1,500. This is 5,500. I didn't realize Willow Creek was so bougie. We could have a bakery on an island in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I think because we don't have a lot of money, we should probably go for the cheapest option, which is in Oasis Springs. It's kind of realistic. Like if you're starting a business, you're not going to be able to like buy the super nice business place first. You're going to have to build the business up to be able to make it a bigger and better business that's easier to run. So sometimes you go start at the bottom, which is hard because it means every day they have to commute all the way to Oasis Springs. So they probably will want to move here eventually and they can work up to that. It's kind of a shame because I absolutely love their apartment, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, transfer funds to our business. Okay, so we need enough for rent. I can't even remember how much our rent is. So maybe we should just go for like 5,500. I don't know. We need something undercover. So maybe, I mean, the cheapest option would probably be pillars instead of walls. How much is a wall? 60 simoleons for a wall? Like, I ain't doing that. And we've also got to think about the aesthetic that we want. What kind of aesthetic do we need? Do we want something more rustic? Do we want something more high end? A few moments later. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at our beautiful little bakery isn't that adorable look at it Ami's like checking it out what do you think Ami do you like it well Ami I think you should get rid of that and I would like you to start baking I feel so bad because I work this lady so hard but when her grandchildren can take over from her and bake as well and just as well then it'll be great she won't have to worry about it anymore so she's just gonna start baking for the first time she's feeling good too she's feeling playful and uh, oh, she's feeling warm from wearing warm laundry. That is the best. Girl, I bought you some really, really nice counters in here and you don't even wanna use them? You wanna use this one? She's like, I like to use the nice counter, not the like dodgy ones from the catalog that Deligracy bought me. <laughs> She's probably also showing off to people walking past and people be looking at her and being like, ooh, what's that lady doing? That's a cute, nice little store that's opened up around the corner. Look at all the Sims. This is a busy place. This is a perfect place to open up a bakery. One lava cake done. So we can put that straight into our little fridge area. And two. Yay! Okay, I think what I'll do is take Ami home because she really needs a rest. And uh, we'll also need to get a few more strawberries, but we can just leave this as is and then come back maybe tomorrow to open up store for the first time. We can put some balloons out and yay. Ooh, grades are up. Azra is now a high school B student. Snaps for Azra. That's amazing. And Hayden is still one of the top students. He's doing so well. Actually, he's an A student, so yeah, he slays. Someone said eating dirt was okay, but someone else said eating dirt will make you die. Is it okay to eat dirt? Eating dirt's really unhealthy. If you do, kids may tease you. Well, it's just not very healthy. So yeah, maybe don't do that. Oh look, it's family dance time. Well, I think what we'll do is get a one to say, well done for getting your amazing grades. So let's get him to hug her lovingly and say, well done. Oh my gosh, did she just decline him from hanging out? Oh, she just needs to escape her family. Well, maybe this is a good opportunity for her to hang out with Emily. 
Emily here. Well, maybe let's um, invite her over so she can just hang out with her friends. And Hayden, I really want you to age up soon, but not until you have finished getting all of your scout badges, because I don't know how that kind of moves from child to teen. So let's get him to collect badges. Oh no, okay, so we've just gotta get the give back badge. So we needed, oh, that's right. We need to donate some of our items that we made. So let's go over to here. Donate gift to charity. Oh my gosh, you can donate spoiled water. <laughs> that's so mean. No, Hayden's a nice boy. We're gonna, we're gonna make him donate some really lovely things. So he's done all of these beautiful crafts. He's such a good boy, so he can donate all of those. I love that when he gets home from school, he gets straight into his skeleton onesie. That's exactly what I would do. So here's Azra's friend, Emily. How about they just obsess over their favorite band and get to know each other a little bit more? Oh, this is awkward. Ramen's over there. Ramen's probably like, oh, damn, I should have made a move on Azra. Well, it was your lost buddy. Azra could complain about her parents being like, ugh, I'm so sick of just, my dad, he's just so annoying. And he's standing right there. I feel so bad for him. Oh, he's getting a little dad belly. Love that. Okay, is Hayden ready to collect his badge? Yay! So he can collect his give back badge. That's exciting. And yeah, it doesn't look like you actually get the scout trophies in your inventory, which is really weird when you get awarded them. So I don't know why that's like a glitch. Okay, let's view our badge progress and see what else we need to get um, before Hayden edges up. But when he does age up, I do think that he should be the cook in the family. I think he is a bit creative as well. So he can be like a creative baker, cook. He does not like the outdoors though. <laughs> so um, he needs to go looking for frogs. He can try catching fish or grilling outdoors. Okay. So we need to do that six times and we also need to perform some scientific activities. Well, let's get that, um, that like science, sciencey thing, that science table. This one, the junior wizard starter set. I really find it difficult to understand why we didn't get any other colorways. Like seriously, why didn't we get any other colorways? I don't understand. But that's okay, because we're in like a green mood today anyway, so it goes with our, our mood. Oh, and I just noticed that little robot sticker with its eye like bursting out of its socket. That's so cute. All right, little Hayden, experiment away. I wonder what he will make. Actually, can <laughs> kids start fires this way? I'm not sure if I just dreamt that, but I'm pretty sure kids can start fires. <gasps> Oh my gosh, you guys, I just realized he's doing science in his bedroom. His grandmother spends a lot of time cooking in the laundry. Do you see what I'm getting to right now? Soon they're gonna get like a family RV in the middle of the desert and be baking in that. These girls are just hanging out. I like the idea that some of you guys had of Emily getting close to Azra and maybe having a little bit of a kiss in her bedroom, maybe at a sleepover or something like that. That would be really cute. And Azra desperately needs to change her clothes because it's day two of winter and she's still in summer clothes. So we need to fix that. Let's just get Ami to quickly bake a little bit more as well so we can uh, take some more lava cake over to the bakery tomorrow. Hayden is still going with this. Oh, okay, he's feeling uncomfortable now. Filthy from low hygiene. Whoa, this made his hygiene go down like crazy. Right, we've got our two lava cakes all ready. And excuse me, neighbor, what is your problem? That's right, Ami, you oh. tell him. Complain George. angrily about the noise to Dominic Fava. Oh, you Dominic disgust Dominic. me. Please keep it down in there. And let me tell you, we know that your son Hold hears that. you and he was so scared he and came so. over to our house the other day because he didn't feel comfortable in his own house because you're woohooing all the time. It's now put Ami in a terrible mood. Oh, this is nice. A little bit of family movie time together. I don't know if Hayden should be watching this movie though. It looks a little bit violent for him. Just a little bit. Well, his fun is through the roof. Um, I feel like he and Ami should have a little bit of time together and maybe make some funny faces. And I'd love a one to maybe come over here and give a kiss on the cheek, hug lovingly, you know, do all of that good father stuff that a good dad does and maybe become best friends. Tell the kids to go to bed, I think. All right, Azra's going to bed. Good night, girl, in her cute little shorts, and everyone is in bed. Yay, success. 
I will resume in the morning. Alrighty, rise and shine. It's the morning now. It's 5 a.m. and you did so well doing all of your science work yesterday. I'm so proud of you. It's still dark in the city, so we're getting up pretty early. But let's get ready for the day. Maybe let's say hi to our dad with his cute dad bod. Let's maybe make him some breakfast. So let's go over here and serve some breakfast scrambled. How nice is it when you when your dad makes you breakfast? I don't know if my dad ever made me breakfast, actually. He just wasn't that into cooking. Oh, Ami definitely needs more rest than the other Sims because she's a little bit older. Azra is needing a lot of rest too, and I feel like she would love to have a double bed at some stage, but we still have to pay our bills, so we're still working up to that. It's kind of a shame that Azra has no baking ability. I feel like she really needs to get onto that. Oh, she aspires to be a best-selling author. That's right. Do we have any writing skill? We have no writing skill either. We really need to get her to kind of work on her aspirations, becoming a young woman. All right, let's get some of Dad's scrambled eggs. Azra, I'm going to get you up as well because you've had enough sleep, I think. A little family breakfast. Before school starts. That's beautiful. Well, let's maybe encourage Azra to influence some skill building, you know? Maybe influence practice programming, speaking at a mirror, uh, influence to play computer games, best dad ever. Anyway, maybe we'll encourage her to, to practice programming because we know that she can do that a little bit. You can be like, Azra, what do you want to do with your life? You're doing better in school, but you're not really skill building anything in particular. She's like, I don't want to talk about this, dad. Just let me live my own life. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, so it's time for the kids to go to school. And I think what we'll do is probably finish off this episode going to the store and opening it up for the first time, which will be really exciting. So I'll just make sure um, Amy's needs are all up as well as a wand's and then we'll head to the store for its grand opening. Oh my gosh, the washing machine. Oh gosh, quickly, 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 quickly. Put it out, put it out. Oh my gosh. Okay, she's gonna be fine. Oh wow. Oh wow, that is so bad. Oh gosh, if anything had happened to Ami without us realizing, I would have been so upset. Oh, her son saved her. Okay, we received two, only 200 simoleons. Damn, we were doing so well. <laughs> okay, let's quickly shower that off. What a crisis. It was meant to be like a nice store opening today. Nothing stressful, but she is. Oh, she's got a good red apron on. How sweet. What? Not another fire? You've got to be kidding me. This is outrageous. Stop. Okay, extinguish. What is going on? How can there be two fires in the same day? I can't believe this. You know what? I don't want the laundry in here anymore. Okay, this is this is clearly too dangerous. We're, not, we're getting rid of all the laundry, okay? We also need to pay our bills. And now our sink is breaking. Why is everything in this... Let's just pay our bills and get out of here, okay? Because cle clearly we need to we need to go go to work. Before I forget, I'm gonna give these both to Ami and let's let's head to our store, okay? All right, we are at our new little bakery store. I'm so excited for this. All right, let's put these in here and let's open up the shop. And uh, oh, there's no items for sale. Oopsies. How do we set for sale? Set for sale, set for sale, set store prices. Oh, store prices can only be adjusted while the store is closed. Okay, my bad. So let's go over to here. Let's set the store prices to 100% markup because it's our opening day and instead of putting everything on sale, we wanna make heaps of money. So we're marking it up. <laughs> Hopefully people buy it. We don't have a lot and what we're making is really rare. So I feel like it's okay. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I would love these fairy lights up, actually. I feel like this is just what we need to complete the entire look and feel of our shop. There we go. That's a lot more festive than how it was looking. All right, everyone come to our store. Open for business. Okay, everyone come buy our stuff. Oh, they're like, yay, we finally opened the store. So proud. Oh, who's this? We've got a, uh, here we have Clarity Lockwood. Let's go up to Clarity and greet the customer. Ooh, and we've got another little friend here, Paige. She probably goes to um, school. Oh my gosh, we have so many Sims coming in. Now, from memory, the Sim kids pay big money in the Sims at stores, so yeah. Let's just uh, discuss this child's shopping preferences. 
This lady looks like she's ready to fist bump someone, but no one said a fist bump, so she's like standing there awkwardly, like, ooh. Okay, I feel like we mocked everything up way too much because no one is buying anything. Let's maybe bail on the kid and go for this wealthy looking mum instead. Woohoo! We sold something! How exciting! I like how we have a cash register to ring up customers, but the Sims never use it and they just use their iPads. It's like, what's the point? Woo! Oh, we made 926 simoleons. Now the crazy thing is we are actually better off just selling these cakes on the street at our street store than actually having a bakery store. So I'm like, why don't we just do that? Okay, fine. Let's just close our store and take the money that we made. Like I know we probably mocked up the prices a little too high, but it's 7.30 at night. We've been open for a few hours and we've only sold one thing. So maybe let's set the, the store prices at 25% normal markup. Well, I'm going to leave this part right here. I'm excited that we have our little store all opened up. That is exciting. Yeah, I guess we could just continue with our street sales if we wanted to. It's kind of nicer having the bakery shop store. I think that's kind of cool as well. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I will speak to you soon. Soo -soo.